And the 6.5 is on the road here at Dell Technologies World 2024 in Analyst's home, second home, Las Vegas, Nevada. It has been all about AI, AI infrastructure, AI PCs, AI software, and AI end-to-end -end services all pulling it together. Daniel, we saw some big partners up on uh, the big stage with uh, Michael. ServiceNow CEO Jensen Wong from NVIDIA, been pretty awesome. Yeah, we had uh, Samsung, we had ServiceNow, we had of course NVIDIA. We were building AI factories, we were talking about AI PCs. Look, you know, you can, you can say it's cliche, you can call it a trend, but when it's driving huge economic growth, when companies are looking into it and depending upon it to reach new heights in their businesses, you call it the thing you should spend time talking about when you're on the road, and yes, in our second home here, Pat, in Las Vegas. Yeah. It is Dell Technologies World 2024, and AI is what needs to be discussed. Isn't it wild, um, I don't know, two years ago, people were you know, yawning at infrastructure, but now infrastructure is cool. None of this stuff can happen without incredible infrastructure. Wow. And it is my privilege to have Arthur Lewis, who happens to run the infrastructure business uh, for Dell Tech, Arthur, great to see you, my friend. Thank you for having me, Pat. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be here with you. And Pat, I mean, you remember when we were saying, uh, you know, people said software would eat the world and everybody was cool for talking about software. You Hardware, and I. Hardware's a commodity. Hardware's a commodity. It. You and I, at different times, we can argue who said it first, but said silicon will eat the world. Yeah. Uh, we got that pretty right about five years ago when we made that call. And now here we are and, you know, chips are cool, infrastructure's cool. and. Arthur, I think that makes, uh, we, had a, we had another guest on a show that said, uh, uh, you know, talking about ESG, not talking about it is not cool, or talking about it is cool, infrastructure is cool. But AI, so you heard Pat and I, our little preamble, AI, 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 it is a trend, it is, it is a bit cool, it is what everybody's focused on, but it is for good reason. You're here at Dell Technologies World, you're meeting with customers, partners, you're talking to your colleagues, What's catching your attention? What's, uh, what's going on? How are you seeing this thing evolve? Yeah, look, you know, we've said we're living in one of the most interesting times in human history. You know, for years, uh, you know, customers have been on a digital transformation journey and the underpinning of which has always been the data. It's all about the data, right? And the advancements that we've seen in artificial intelligence now provide customers with the tools to actually unlock the data and what we're seeing is an opportunity for incredible innovation and incredible productivity in the workforce. It's just simply amazing to see the amount of creativity yeah. that this topic is stimulating in every industry in the world. We, you know, we talk about, you know, part of our mission is that technology drives human progress. This is the next industrial revolution and this will improve humanity. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, because we have new technology working on new technology, the rate of innovation, it's not just on our imagination, it's, it's actually increasing, right? And I'm curious, how are you helping your customers to bend their generative AI curves to get their time to market at quality? How are you helping them accelerate? Yeah, look, from, from a customer's perspective, what we hear you know, time and again is, you know, I don't have the expertise or the knowledge to really deploy AI in my environment. However, you know, my AI strategy is going to follow my data strategy. The majority of my data sits on-prem. I need to be able to deploy AI on-prem and I need the flexibility to uh, have a choice in terms of how, when, and where I deploy models. Dell, how can you help me accelerate the adoption of AI? Right. And so we have a simple four-part strategy. Well, simple to articulate difficult to execute. You know, part number one is about world-class infrastructure, right? The compute, the network, and the storage. And this is incredibly important because these are very complicated systems that must be fine-tuned, optimized, and work in unison. We have the benefit of being able to engineer all three components under one roof, under one engineering team to ensure that the underlying system works. You know, part number two is making sure that we are building out the ecosystem for AI. 
you know, we're going to talk about solutions. You can't have solutions without having ecosystem partners. And you know, we're going to talk tomorrow about more about the partnership that we have with Hugging Face, the partnership that we have with Meta, right. how we're working with them on Llama 3, and all of the things that we're doing to help customers accelerate the adoption of AI. You know, the third component is ensuring that we have turnkey solutions. So we offer 40 turnkey solutions that have been tested and optimized and validated for a myriad of AI use cases. And then we kind of layer that all with professional and consulting services really to help customers understand how they deploy the system because you know, the conversations that we have with customers, it, typically five topics. Topic number one is usually, hey, what use case are you guys um, you know, thinking we should be thinking about? Question number two depends, it's into model selection. Question number three is around data preparation. Then you get to architecture, then you get to infrastructure, right? So having professional and consulting services in conjunction with our partner community really helps customers think about how they can deploy AI for maximum benefit. Yeah, yeah it's a really significant opportunity. We had Sam Grocott up here, one of the, uh, you know, your colleagues in the business. He was talking a lot about you know, evolving from like a TCO to really an ROI model. You know, businesses are looking at the efficiencies and productivity gains that can come from this. And we heard Bill McDermott talk about the 40 years of, you know, 40 years ago, how everyone thought that only executives would survive. And this was in the earliest eras of automation. Now with, with AI and Gen AI, though, everyone's saying, is, is it going to be universal basic income? What's going to happen in the world? In the end, though, companies are going to get more productive. I think there's a bit of a prune to grow strategy, but I think Dell is, you know, some of the stuff that I've heard is that you're really able to show value to customers that want to implement AI, that want to not overly rotate to cloud. It's going to be an and, not an or, but there will be situations where the data should remain on-prem. The, the data actually needs to be, and from a standpoint of compliance, governance, regulation, all those things, it's an advantage, but it's also an economic advantage. Um, Arthur, I'd love for you to share a little bit about the announcements. You guys displayed a great yeah. photo of the AI factory. What are all the announcements that you made today for your business? Right, so um, let, let's kind of go through that first layer when we talk about infrastructure. So I think we're all familiar with the PowerEdge XC9680, right? Well, we've made that product significantly better with the PowerEdge XC9680L, which is a liquid-cooled solution um, specifically designed for the Black, NVIDIA's Blackwell 200 GPU. And there are you know, three main highlights that I will call out with the 9680L. Number one, we improved density 33%. We are now offering eight GPUs in a 4U form factor. That is an industry first. Second, we've leveraged our decades leadership in liquid cooled solutions to improve energy efficiency two and a half times with our direct to chip cooling technology. And third, and maybe most importantly actually, we've greatly increased our networking capabilities by offering 12 PCIe slots supporting full 400 gig ethernet and InfiniBand for the highest level of throughput in the industry. Um, next, not, to, not resting on that, we're also announcing our rack scale solutions. These will support air and liquid cooling. Um, they will be the most dense and energy efficient uh, rack solutions in the market. They will be data center cooling neutral. They will be factory integrated and they will be ready to be deployed. And they'll come in three variants. The first one is a 70 kilowatt air-cooled design to support 62 GPUs, um, 64 GPUs, excuse me, uh, for NVIDIA H100, H200, B100, AMD MI300X, and Gaudi 3. The second solution, which you heard today from yes. Michael, is our 100 kilowatt liquid-cooled solution with rear door heat exchanger specifically for NVIDIA's Blackwell 200 GPU. This will be the most dense, energy-efficient rack scale in the industry. And the third solution will be a 130 kilowatt liquid cool design based on the next generation ORV3 21 inch architecture designed to support NVIDIA's Grace Blackwell 200 super chip, but also x86 variants with Intel and AMD CPUs. We build on that with our networking announcements and our partnerships with Broadcom and NVIDIA to provide enhanced fabric capabilities, 400 and 800 gig switching, 400 gig NICs and DPUs, um, as well as enhanced fabric capabilities with our Sonic operating system and Spectrum X uh, from NVIDIA. We build on that with PowerScale. Uh, this is the first Ethernet-based storage um, that's certified on NVIDIA SuperPod. Um, we're adding significant hardware upgrades to the introduction of the new F910, 
DDR5, PCIe Gen 5, 24 SSDs, all in a 2U form factor uh, to deliver up to 1.47 petabytes. And with these hardware upgrades and significant software modifications, we are now twice as fast as the nearest flash-only scale-out file competitor out there. And of course, we're gonna wrap this all up with an announcement on these 40 turnkey solutions. We're gonna talk about uh, full-stack deployment automation that we're building with NVIDIA, single and multi-node validated designs with AMD, our collaboration with Intel on their developer cloud, offering Gaudi 3 for flexible testing and reserved instances, the work that we're doing with Red Hat on their enterprise Linux for AI, um, and many, many more in the hopper. Gosh. Did they announce anything? I don't know. I mean, it's like, full, again? it's like a full array of awesomeness. You know <laughs> I, what I mean? It is, it is so exciting. I like to say our innovation engine is firing on all cylinders, and it has never run this hot. I'm excited. We're, we're, I brought my uh, platinum card. Does that work? <laughs> yes. Probably we need a few of those. I'd, maybe I get like half a rack out of that. No, I think you get like half a chip. No, probably. Especially I don't with know. The, you know like the, one Blackwell now? Yeah, you know. Oh, we got Jensen's walking around. We could ask for a discount. There we go. <laughs> uh, I, I know where that conversation's going. <laughs> I, I've heard. Uh, in the industry, folks. No, uh, so it takes a village to pull all of this off. And I, I heard you talk about some of your partners, uh, obviously Broadcom, Intel, NVIDIA, AMD, and folks like that. But can you talk about the importance of your ecosystem to, to what you're trying to pull off here? Yeah, look, I mean, you, you can't build, like if you think about the layer cake strategy we talked about earlier, you know, you can't do this by yourself, right? And you know, we have a rich history of engagement with many of these partners. You think about NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, Broadcom, rich relationship, but we're also expanding into new relationships. You look at the work that we're doing with Hugging Face, the work right. that we're doing with Meta, um, you know, we're engaging deeply with Palo Alto Networks, with Run AI, with Lamini, with Red Hat, with so many others. Like, our value add is we are trusted partners for the enterprise yeah. that don't have the necessary skills to really understand how to deploy generative AI at scale, right? And they are under a lot of pressure because of all the things that we talked about. This is now a board level, CEO level conversation. Right. Uh, and they're looking for a full stack technology partner, they're not trying to say, I want my compute over here, my network over here, my storage over here. And so we, we want to make sure that we understand the full stack solution, we're building together the right ecosystem of partners to deliver on behalf of customers. Right, that's great. Yeah, no doubt the ecosystem is going to come into play. You know, Patrick and I have spoken endlessly about sort of this hybrid multi-architecture. You've talked a lot about uh, silicon diversity here. And you also talked a lot about networking, which is one of those topics that sometimes I think is like the forgotten opportunity. Of course, Dell, you seem very ready to capitalize on well, that. Well, you know, the, Michael said it today, on the, you know, on the networking side, you know, people, you know, we talk about the fact that GPUs are hungrier, right? And that means that they're going to demand more data, which means that they're going to demand more throughput. But let, let, let's put some context around it. When we look at AI workloads, they drive 300 times the amount of data throughput that we would see in a traditional compute server. 300 times. <laughs> Which means a lot of networking is going to be required. So. Well, the reliability that needs to go into that too, and the speed is immense. The, the speed is incredibly important, but the optimization and the tuning, this is why being able to engineer it under one roof yes. to ensure that, the and it's the transmission not only between GPUs, but also between server and storage, that's incredibly important, right? Yep. And that's why the F910 is so important because that is the storage engine that's feeding data into the compute, into the high bandwidth memory to process models to generate tokens at yeah. a rate that you know is going to satisfy customers. Yeah. Listen, we have only a couple minutes left, Arthur, but I'd love to give you the opportunity to talk to the uh, to the audience out there. What's the one big takeaway? at least within your world of, of Dell and the infrastructure group, that you really want everyone to come away from Dell Technology World? Well, look, clearly, um, you know, th this is an AI fest, you know, as, as we like to say. And, and, you know, what I hope is coming across is, you know, like I said earlier, our innovation engine is firing on all cylinders. We're working with a broad swath of ecosystem partners. You know, we aspire to be that trusted advisor to every enterprise customer that's out there that's looking to deploy, um, you know, generative AI at scale. Um, but we don't lose sight of the fact that there are traditional workloads outside of artificial intelligence. Right. Eventually, we will move everything to an AI factory, but that'll take 
you know, sometime. And so, you know, we also have incredible primary storage announcement with PowerStore Prime. We have an incredible software-defined portfolio with PowerFlex, with PowerScale, with ObjectScale. Um, we talk about the world is awash with data and the importance of data. We have an incredibly strong data protection portfolio and a multi-cloud story. So all things infrastructure is firing on all cylinders, not just on the AI side. But right. again, AI is really anything anybody wants to talk about yeah. today. And it, it's, again, I, I, I can't imagine, I'm so privileged you know, to be a participant in this space. I just, I'm a very happy camper. That's great, you should be. Well, Arthur, thank you so much for joining us here on the 6.5 at Dell Technologies World 2024. Let's have you back again soon. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Pat. And for everyone out there, thank you so much for tuning in here. We appreciate you joining the 6.5 on the road at Dell Technologies World 2024 in Las Vegas. We've had plenty of coverage, lots of great conversations. Stick with us, more to come. See you all soon.